Hi, so today we're going to be working on lesson four uh, for science, and it's offspring and living things. Now you might notice, hey, wait, Miss Ackner, you skipped lesson three, and I did, because lesson three is a science experiment that I, I really need to be in front of the kids to do. So since that can't happen, we're just skipping it, because it wasn't anything that was too big of a deal. So today we're going to be learning about offspring. Of living things or babies. We're gonna learn about babies. How do animals help their offspring survive? What do parents do for their babies in order to make it so that they grow up to be adults? I can explain that reproduction is an important part of the life cycle of all living things. I can explain how some animal parents help their offspring survive. People begin life as babies. Over time they grow and change. Eventually babies become children and then adults. Adults may have babies and continue the cycle of life. A life cycle shows how living things grow, change, and reproduce during their life. All living things have life cycles. While life cycles are different depending on the type of organism, reproduction is an important step to the life cycle of every living thing. Reproduction is the process where a living thing creates more of its own species. So this, um, this is an image of the life cycle of a monarch butterfly. That if we were in school, we would grow our own butterflies and release them outside. But that's just not something that we can do right now. So first they start as eggs on a leaf and then they turn into caterpillars and they eat, eat, eat. And then they, they make this J shape and then they spin themselves until they uh, turn into a chrysalis. Then they hatch from their chrysalis and their wings need to dry. And then they go get nectar and they become and they're fully grown butterflies and then those butterflies have eggs and the cycle starts all over again mammals fish reptiles birds and some inver invertebrates go through life cycles that are similar each of these types of animals are either born live or hatched from an egg when mammals fish reptiles birds and some invertebrates are born they usually look like small versions of their parents. We call these animal or human babies offspring. They are they eventually grow into an adult and may reproduce or create more of, the, of their species. Each animal will eventually perish or die. Amphibians and some invertebrates have a life cycle that is different. They go through what is called a metamorphosis. A metamorphosis is a change from one type of animal to another. So these are tadpoles and these will turn into the southern leopard frog. Most amphibians are hatched from eggs. They live underwater and breathe with gills. As they grow into adults, their bodies change again. They develop lungs and live on land. As time passes, they will eventually reproduce, then die. Life cycles repeat over and over again. Even though all animals eventually die, they reproduce to make more offspring. Reproduction is an important step in the life cycle of every living thing, it is how animal species continue to exist on Earth. Like animals, plants also reproduce. However, their life cycle is a bit different. Plants reproduce seeds that grow into new plants. To make a seed a plant needs to be pollinated. Pollen are tiny particles that are on the flower of a plant. Particles of pollen stick to an insect when it lands on a plant's flower. When the insect travels to another flower, some of the pollen rubs off on its body and travels down part of the flower. It's called a pistil. Then the plant can begin to make seeds or fruit. This is process. It's called pollinization. Once seeds are produced, they fall to the ground and are carried by wind, spread by birds or other animals, or are planted by people. The seeds may eventually sprout and become new plants. In some types of animal species, the parent or parents will do things to help their young survive. 
There are four ways that they can help their offspring. They can provide them with shelter, they can provide them with milk or get them food. They can teach them how to survive in their habitat and they can protect them from predators. Some animal species care for their young for many years until the animals have reached adulthood and can meet their needs themselves. Polar bear cubs will stay with their mother for about two years until they've learned how to survive in the Arctic. Female African elephants gather in a in herds and work together to protect their babies from predators until they are old enough to protect themselves. Humans feed, care for, provide for, and protect their babies for many years as well. Other animal species do not care for their offspring at all once they are born. Once the eggs are hatched or babies are born, they abandon their young and let them care for their needs themselves. After butterflies or and moths lay their eggs on a plant, they abandon their eggs. Their eggs will eventually hatch on their own and the calibers will have to fend for themselves. Reproduction is an important step in the life cycle of every living thing on earth. It allows both plants and animals to continue to exist. How do animals help their offspring survive? What'd you learn? How, can you answer this question now? So all you need is a piece of paper to do this one. So what I want you to do is I want you to name an animal draw a picture of it, then tell how it cares for its young. So how, like, for example, if I picked uh, cats, I can say, you know, cats feed their kittens milk and they show them how to use a litter box and that's how they take care of them, right? So let's look at the bottom really quick. Number one. Reproduction is a stage in the life cycle of all living things, true or false. All living things care for their young the same way, true or false. Some animal parents protect their young from predators, true or false. 